Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be talking about iOS 15.5 Beta 3. Um, there's not too much to talk about in this release. Um, obviously, we're coming up on the end of iOS 15 and its releases, so mainly it's just bug fixes and stuff in preparation for iOS 16. Um, so they're not going to be adding a ton of features or anything like that, obviously this close to WWDC. Um, and that's what we're getting here, just some bug fixes. Um, we did get an update for the DualSense controller um, and the adaptive trigger firmware, um, so that is now supported. Um, I'm not really having any issues. There are a couple people on the MacRumors forum talking about some iMessage bugs um, in previous beta versions with it deactivating and having issues activating. I have not experienced that. Um, I've been switching back and forth between Android and this phone and my iPhone SE 2022. Um, so I've been uh, deactivating uh, iMessage and you know turning it back on a lot um, when I switch SIMs and I'm not having that issue. Um, it always reactivates just fine and it's never uh, deactivated on its own. Uh, so no issues there. Um, everything has been running great. Battery life has been excellent. Um, I actually went from like one in the morning on this phone once to uh, all the way into the next day um, with pretty good usage and did not have any uh, battery issues. Um, so battery life is excellent, especially on the 13 Pro Max. Um, this phone is just a beast for battery life. Um, doesn't matter whether you're on the stable or the beta. Um, the iPhone SE is not as good, but it's also not bad, especially again for running the beta. Um, but very, very good battery life, no issues there. Um, I have not had any cellular issues. Um, I was on a trip and I still had a uh, great connection. I only have one bar now, but that is my uh, one to two bars is normal for where I am uh, when I'm at home. Um, so very good. Um, like I said, very light update because we are around the corner from uh, iOS 16 getting announced and the beta cycle starting for that. Um, so we're not gonna uh, expect to see too much in 15.5 and future 15 releases um, that close to iOS 16. But that's what we get in iOS 15.5 beta 3. Um, pretty good update, but you know, just some bug fixes and stuff like that. If I have any other issues, I will let you guys know, and I will make an update video if anything arises. This is Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. As always, have a great day.